family, friends, and survivors. Just changed the oil in the diesel Jenny, and according to the military spec on that Yanmar, they say every 500 hours, and I never go that far. I keep a record right there on the wall of when I change the oil, and it's right around 150 hours a year, give or take 10 hours or so, depending on how bad the year is. And so I'm changing the oil almost three times uh, more often than is necessary. And that's a good thing. And it's only once a year. It's no big deal. Now in this video, I'm going to be doing a, a load test and efficiency test on the Predator. Now the thing that we're doing with this one, the previous tests that you find on my videos are done with the 212cc Predator. And I've got several videos on that, and they're running at about 2,400 RPM. This one's set up at 1,800 RPM, and it's the 301 cc engine, running at much lower RPM. And we're doing an efficiency comparison between those two. And actually, we'll compare it between the diesel, which is going to win by far. But a lot of people have asked about... Um, Charging the battery bank DC to DC, so using a an alternator. And I have a friend that's done a video on which alternators work the best, and they vary radically in efficiency. That was a twenty-four uh, volt alternator. That today we're going to instead of using the internal voltage regulator, we're bypassing it and using the controller that we built. And we're going to use the data logger and record how many kilowatts we've produced in a 1.4 gallon tank. That's the plan. Okay, I've got it started. And, uh, we'll see how long she runs and how many kilowatts it makes. Right now I'm letting the engine warm up using the internal voltage regulator. So we're seeing 21 amps are going in, and this is the actual voltage upstairs. So I'll let it warm up for a few minutes, and I'll switch it over and run it manually at 30 amps. Okay, that ought to be warm enough. I'm using the internal regulator. put in 24 watt hours since we started that little alternator is putting out 890 890 watts and we'll see how long she runs we're running it at 30 amps uh, because the breaker upstairs uh, between this alternator and the battery bank is a 30 amp breaker. I have a 60 amp breaker and I've got 60 amp wire running up there. Uh, I just have never needed it. Um, I think the fuel efficiency at low RPM is what we're really trying to figure out to see how many kilowatts we can produce at 1800 rpm so that's the noisiest out here on this side because the exhaust comes through the wall coming out that pipe and the exhaust on the diesel has a muffler up there it's 
a dual muffler system and it, it's quiet exhaust wise but there's a lot of engine noise and the diesel's running at 3600 rpm and a new engine for that that Yanmar engine replacement is about twenty five hundred dollars where the Predator I think I paid on sale one ninety nine for it something like that and we're running the Predator eighteen hundred rpm and it's got to be fast enough to oil everything upstairs because they're over uh, overhead valve system on these newer engines if it was a flathead Honda or something or old flathead Briggs it wouldn't matter but you got to spend at least 1500 to get a sufficient oiling so we're at 1800 rpm and it runs when it warms up it's depending on the voltage it's usually around 900 watts at 1800 rpm is where we have this test set up and so the thought was since the Yanmar is um, uh, $2,500 to replace and the Predator is about $200 to replace um, which one's the better one to run? Uh, there's no question the diesel is going to be less money to operate it runs way more efficiently uh, than the gas engine does there's way more BTUs in diesel than there is in gasoline the other thing is the gasoline engine probably has a higher output curve, uh, higher uh, energy per fuel consumption at a higher RPM. Probably right around 3400 RPM I'm guessing is where its maximum efficiency is. But then you have a wear factor involved too. So looking to see whether this alternator idea and there's all kinds of alternators you can put on these things and is it a viable solution for charging your battery banks and I'll tell you right up front it's not you're better off getting a good sized generator and an inverter charger that is power factor corrected and you need to look that up and see what that is if it's PFC it's a good in, uh, good inverter charger and it's going to be able to get maximum amount of power through the MOSFETs on your inverter charger um, if it's power factor corrected and if it's not then you're gonna have some trouble Hey, it has taken me days to get this test done the generator just quit right at five and a half hours so we have 5.7 kilowatts in five and a half hours in a 1.4 gallon tank. So it's kind of hard to see down in there, but it looks like there's maybe a quarter of an inch in the bottom of the tank. So it probably didn't really burn the whole 1.4 gallons. Okay, so 5.7 kilowatts in 1.4 gallons of fuel runtime is five and a half hours right on the nose and that tells me our average was a little bit higher than 30 amps and I will crunch the numbers and get back to you